Hello and welcome to Pixel Aquarium. Today we're going to be drawing a Viking fishing for a giant oarfish. This was suggested by one of my subscribers who said, why don't you draw a Viking that's fishing? And I don't usually take uh, suggestions for what I draw, but this uh, suggestion evoked a lot of imagery of Viking ships and giant fish, so I decided to just go for it and see how it turned out. And yeah, I added the oarfish part because I just love drawing oarfish because they're amazing giant fish, so uh, that's what I ended up with. So I started drawing, sketching, I decided I needed to look at some references for the Viking ship, and so that's what I did. Looked at several references and sketched out a very rough initial sketch of the Viking fishing for this giant oarfish. The oarfish may or may not be much larger than it is in real life. I'm not really sure whether I'm saying that the oarfish is very close to the perspective of my drawing or if it's just very, very large. Uh, that's uh, for you to decide. Um, but regardless, it's a giant oarfish, so it's appropriately massive. The Viking, on the other hand, is very tiny. This is the first time, I think, at least in a very long while, that I've drawn a person, and I went for the very simple route with this. So, uh, it's just kind of a pixely blob in the background with a little, little Viking helmet, so you can tell that it's a Viking. Sorry if you were expecting more out of that. I, uh, generally only draw fish, not people, so... Uh, maybe one day I'll be good at drawing people, but I'm definitely not there yet. Anyways, another tricky thing to draw is, of course, the uh, fishing line itself, because uh, when you're dealing with a fishing line, you've got... It's really got to be one pixel thick, otherwise it doesn't really make any sense. But in reality, a fishing line should be even thinner than one pixel, so... I ended up going through several iterations of this fishing line. I had it waving and curving around at first, but that didn't work, so in the end I just went with a, uh, I believe it's a, just a straight angle down and then dropping straight in the water. And I think that turned out better than it was before. Let me know. Um, I know some pixel artists, like for example in Stardew Valley, they'll have the, uh, fishing line be thinner than a pixel, and that's kind of cheating, so I didn't want to do that. Um... But anyways, I think it turned out about the best you can hope with a fishing line in pixel art. It's a difficult thing to show because it is, in reality, thinner than what you're using as the size of a pixel. Moving on to the ore fish, I spent a lot of time uh, creating the water ripple light effect on the fish. I thought that was important to sort of show some depth of the fish and show that it was underwater because I've got part of the scene above water and part of the scene below water. So I really wanted to get that wavy, watery effect on its skin. And I think it turned out pretty well. I'm also happy with the color choices in the fish. I love its red fins. They're just very striking, so it's hard to mess up this fish. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. Uh, the ship, I think I got, once again, I'm still about only 75% of the way there on perspective, but it turned out good enough. Um, I think the background turned out quite nice as well, I'm very happy with that. And this was sort of a risky scene, I took some big risks in drawing a much larger and grander scene than I usually do with lots of moving parts. I hope you enjoyed how it turned out, and if you like this video, please consider subscribing for more fish drawings every week.